Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another Survivor Day on the Planet, and welcome to another quick video here from Daily Events Worldwide, as we just had a pretty large C-class Earth-facing solar flare. This is the last few images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Very large C-class solar flare and a lot of plasma ejected and associated with the event. Having a look here at the last 48 hours on our sun activity in the northwest and then the southeast, then back to the northwest and then to the sunspot region and huge plasma filament erecting from the surface in the northwestern limb cresting right now. So a lot of activity coming in from the northwest and of course right now equatorial regions with this sunspot as it just produced pretty sizable C-class solar flare in an earth-facing position. But it looks like most of that energy shot northward. But literally, when you look at it on multi-spectrum and other graphs here, it literally sent a tsunami across the surface of the northern hemisphere of our sun. Closer look at that large plasma filament erecting from the surface here northwest and rhythm and that was after the m-class solar flare right there very active region turning in right now so heads up friends and family from around the world we are going through solar cycle 25 together and together we are still learning about it as well space weather effects looking at multi-spectrum the last 48 hours all of the events mostly c-class solar flares about three of them but look at that plasma northwestern side wow and as well here 193 angstroms showing a coronal hole that has developed literally grew overnight within the 24 hour period after that m class solar flare and that is it right there getting ready for an earth phasing view and then another close look here at that solar tsunami i was talking about Look at that, all of that energy totally affected all of the equatorial region of the sun here. Even to the coronal hole that is extremely far away from that sunspot region. Solar X-ray flux, you can see here the graph here, jumped up into C-class, and we've seen three of them in the past 48 hours. But hovering in the B range, geomagnetic activity remains slightly elevated as we are still hovering at about 500 kilometers per second solar winds. And here is a look at the highest frequency affected, showing that short pulse solar flare in an earth facing position and its instant effects on our magnetic field. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. I also wanted to correlate here the Schumann residence, which is a power of 35. And that jumped up during the day, during this C-class Earth-facing event. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's quick space weather update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay if you enjoyed and have fun. today's video, See please you next hit video. that like button. Bye -bye subscribe, now. share with your friends and family from across the world.